Well, we had an update yesterday. <clears throat> we had an update yesterday for the game, so that's what this is all about. Hopefully it'll load. I don't really want to start over again. If I have to start over again, I might just wait until the stable branch is moved to the stable branch. The unstable to the stable. But it looks like it loaded. That's good. Okay, let's uh, pick this up. And I'm going to move it over. Whoops. Uh-oh. Where did the... Okay. I was like, where did that go? So I was trying to open the tailgate so I could easier move that in easier. I'm going to go and uh, grab, put these by the honey. Plus, uh, oh, I could get the, I might use this. I'm going to, I'm going to grab those and I'm going to use this cart because I'm going to go buy the, the small trailer again and I'm going to buy the, the lawnmower because it does work, but you need to have the small trailer to transport it. You can get it onto the big trailer, but you have to kind of, uh, you know, Jerry rig it, kind of get it onto the, the tailgate, you know, put the ramp down and then do, you know, get it to jump up, I guess. So I'm going to try to do it the, the correct way. I'm going to bring the smoker with because, uh, I might be able to do some extracting actually once we drop that off. We did have an update. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to like read over what all's in it, but there, hopefully there's a lot more stable things, which the cart seems to be a lot more stable at high speeds. I don't remember it being quite this smooth going this fast. So maybe that's something they fixed. Oh, where am I going? I was just so excited about it actually like driving good I went right straight flying straight past where I was gonna turn I'm gonna go over and deal with the bees take the some of the honey off oh maybe they fixed the small trailer too would be great cuz plus they uh, the beehives they won't be too high in the tree like uh, that issue I was having two episodes back where the the beehive was too high up in the tree where I could not uh, get to it without backing the truck up to it. So hopefully that f is fixed also. So Because they had said that they you can now uh, the beehives are not too high up in the tree so I don't have to deal too much with that. Okay let's uh, grab some of these bees out of here because I, I know we have pretty much all of them should be at a hundred percent I still think I still need one more frame in this hive yeah I still need one more frame in this hive to to get the full hive which never mind I'm gonna stop saying that <laughs> till they fix it Okay, let's turn this on. Okay, I wonder if it was just uh Now see, it should go up to 7.5 because that's what it says it does, but it seems like it's stopping at 7 point or 4.7. Oh, wait a minute. It's going. Why did it stop at 4.7 last? Well, now it's stopping at 6.5. Or 5.6, I mean. Uh, I've got dyslexic. So, if, so once in a while, if you hear me say something like that, that's the reason why. I, I jopple my, my numbers around. So let's try one of the other ones, see if it's still putting any honey out. Or is that all the honey that you get out of four hot on um, four frames let's check two percent oh yeah they're down to two percent so boy you really have to get a lot of you really need to get a lot of bees to to really make anything of it to actually get a full jar so I guess I didn't need to buy four of those till I get more beehives 
or our frames of bees. Should only be one queen per hive. Okay, we're gonna bring it with because uh, just oh, I don't have a frame. Let's grab a frame. Yeah, we got a storm. grab the small trailer and the lawnmower and then we'll run back I just want to try the mower I know it's not like an essential thing to have but uh, this way we can go down this way wow even jumping off the rocks is better uh, oh my like, am I gonna make it through all those rocks? <laughs> oh, dead deer. Still gotta be careful. More likely, there's a bear. Try to um, try to follow everybody's advice on on the games through the you know the comments. I I do read them all and I try to respond to them all, which you notice. Um, it just sometimes it because I've you know a lot of recommendations. I might not get to your recommendation right away. Um, I try to, but a lot of times it's just uh, I forget because. <laughs> Uh, you get a lot so I do try I apologize if I miss your you know if I don't take your advice the next episode or a couple episodes it really depends how uh, you know what I'm doing that episode and stuff where the rain doesn't come inside buildings. I remember some older games where it always, the, you go inside a building, like uh, Farm Sim, like Farm Sim 17 or something, there was a while where it would rain inside buildings. Okay, let's see, we got, oh yeah, the fuel trailer, that we're definitely buying. I'm, actually, that might be the first job thing we deal with. We got small trailer, and we got the mower. Take the mower. Okay, we'll we'll buy those three things. I'm gonna do the field trailer f first, I think. We should probably have two of them, so we could have one at the farm and one here. Oh, that's laying upside down. Oh, I didn't bring my mattress. Huh. Well, I wonder if I could tow that with the with the cart. I might need to get my truck to pull that. 
Yeah, so we'll do the trailer and the lawnmower first, and we'll grab our smaller trailer, or our, our, our truck. Well, let's try backing it, this up. See if we can at least get it to, we might have to try to get it to pull. Get away from the away from the fence. How is it gonna get up on that trailer? That small trailer doesn't look like it's big enough for the... Ah! That doesn't look like the lights are working yet. bit closer. Okay, now Yeah, I don't know how this how this is supposed to get up on the trailer. Yeah, that, that doesn't... How does that work? Gotta remember to use the brakes. Might help. Come on. Oh my goodness. even hit the brakes and that stupid thing gets kept going. How about, let's try pulling this forward. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know if it is. Okay, Chris, I think you're the one that told me that you can put it on this small trailer. What are you trying to do to me, man? <laughs> think doing the hack with this big trailer and just getting it on there and making it catapult it up into the into the back of the tail of the trailer would be the better than going through all this. Chris, I don't know what you're talking about with the being able to get it on the small trailer because this just it does not fit. And I don't know how did you do it. Or you do this just to mess with me. <laughs> Cause oh man. You wanna just I think I'm just going to grab the big trailer and do the whole tailgate hack to get it on the trailer. Either that or I'm just going to drive the freaking thing over to the... See, it's like it turns away from the... It turns, like, at the last second. It's like driving straight. Okay, that that's about it. I'm done. We're, we're going to just go sell both of these. <laughs> sell this trailer. And never gonna buy it again. Okay, I'm editing all that out, but I just spent like 15 20 minutes trying to get that lawnmower up on the trailer. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, why is it not letting me sell the trailer? Can we hook the trailer, the gas trailer, onto this thing? We can. Okay. I just lost another, what, the small trailer is 600, so I just lost another 300 bucks twice now dealing with that small trailer. Never doing it again. <laughs> I don't know why it, it just, it does not load onto the truck. We'll come back for that.
mower in a little while. I'm not selling it again. I'm just gonna drive it to the. I'm just gonna drive it to the ranch under its own power. Probably would be better to, to go get my big truck to pull this gas tank. Cause I don't know if it's the physics are, gonna, are the physics gonna change once it's full of gas or is it gonna stay the same? And I should get two of these. One for the oil rig and then one for the ranch. I wonder how much it's going to cost to fill this thing too. Uh, let's see, hold, flip, put in. Where is it trying to fill it? Oh, that side. Let's see how much will it take. can imagine it's going to be quite a bit. It's a big trailer. I've got a hose through my head. <laughs> Stop the filling sound effect. Let's see how many gallons it takes. Probably 500. More than 500. Wow. Well, this is a thousand gallon. Well, we'll have to go to the gas station in a long time. Okay. Yep. Thousand gallons. I guess we can always just bring the <clears throat> gas cans back to the ranch to fill them. Park this somewhere where it's easy accessible. Uh, so I think we'll just park it here. I'm going to put this back. We're going to park this back in here for right now. We'll go run and grab our lawnmower. Okay, I'll be back with you as soon as we get to the lawnmower. I guess the uh, harvester head is fixed. Also, with the with the update. So we could plant crops if we want to, but you know, now that we've got that that granary that can auto like fill feeders, I don't know if I really need to take and plant any wheat. Okay, we are back to the lawnmower. Uh, one of the things that did get fixed with this update is the the harvester head uh, can be put on the harvester now. So that's one thing that's fixed. Um, I'm not going to make you sit through me going seven miles an hour, eight miles. We do jump up to eight miles an hour from time to time, so not quite seven. But uh, I'm not going to make you sit through this whole thing. So. I will be back with you as soon as we get the mower back to the ranch. <clears throat> okay, now it's supposed to be auto. It does not seem to be mowing. Yeah, it's not making the grass shorter. Where is it? Okay, now it is. It was just back there, it wasn't doing it. Okay, now it's working. Now, once you mow it, does it grow back? I hope. It would be kind of nice if you could turn the mower on. But I think we will park it in the garage and we'll have it for later. Okay, now my smoker is in the back here. So I'm going to grab my truck. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go throw some of this on the, on the barn. I think we need metal. Oh, we're not gonna get that on there right now. Let's uh, we'll use the big trailer for that. That's all wood. Do we even need cement? We need metal, not cement. F eh, figures. <laughs> we, I I would think I thought we needed cement for the foundation, unless we're not putting a foundation down. Well. I guess we just need a little bit of metal is all. So all that was pointless. Power went out again. Crap. It looks like it came right back on. It's not letting me insert it. This is metal I'm carrying, right? Or do I need to put planks in it first and then do the metal? Now is, is that ready to harvest or can I, is it, 
So I don't want to remove it if it's still needs to grow. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that right now. Yeah, some of our, our trees came back because the update. Oh, it auto fills. Okay. Oh, it says right on there. Thousand. Okay, let's grab this this lumber. Curious to see if we do the door, if it'll make so that the the metal will be taken. So maybe we gotta get the whole frame done first, and then it'll take it. there too. Yeah, it still won't let me put the planks in there. Okay, yeah, you have to get the whole thing done before it'll take. So we're gonna have to make a lot more planks. Um, so 10, 21, so 31. 31, 35. Forty-seven. Forty-seven more planks. fuel trailer. <laughs> it's not letting me chop that. Huh. Yeah, that new chain table saw is a lot nicer. everything I cut right now. thing and that board just sunk into the ground ok 
Okay, let's go put some more into the... Oh, wait a minute. Did they reappear? They did, didn't they? Might as well take all of them with. Okay, let's grab... Let's save. We haven't done that in a long time. It's probably not a good idea not to save it very often. Okay, there's the door. Let's open those up. That way we can just run right inside still. And then we can build stalls in here for animals, which will be good if we do some horses. So we could use this barn for, for cows too, I think. Getting close. Almost have our full barn. do just need 11 more for the for that door and I need to s build another door okay so we need some more and we need some metal let's I do have the metal here let's grab it hey only need one uh, let's set those in the corner okay Yeah, we need to build a door there too. Let's let's get to that right away. Okay, let's go grab some more. We could just go and grab wood and put it right onto the trailer. No, we can't. I was thinking we could set the saw up on the trailer and just take it right to where we want to go and cut the wood and transport it that way. But when you put it on the trailer, it puts it in the box. Oh, the other tip was about the doing the barrels. That's the one I was trying to think of. Where you do the put all the barrels on the trailer and just pull them right up next to the right next to the oil rig, and then you don't have to load, unload, unload, so like that. I think that
that should be enough. We should probably check our feed. Let's do that while we're right here. Make sure our feeders are full. We still have some on the ground, so that's good. But we'll auto-fill anyways, which uh, $21 means that it wasn't quite f that full yet. Let's see how we're doing with the chickens here. Yeah, we got a chick, got a couple, got a black and a white chick. And a whole mess of eggs. I think, uh, see some are standing on end and some are laying down. I think I'm gonna have to build a bigger chicken coop. Whoops, I gotta angle myself up a little bit so I can see the whole book. Uh, Premium that'll hold 20. Big chicken coop. A medium hold eight. And see, we're only able to hold five. So more than 20. So recommend for keeping no more than 20. How big is this thing? It's big. <laughs> Could do it just like. this and then I can remove that remove this fence after I construct new fence I'm not gonna get rid of fence before I get put new fence down and let's construct that before we get rid of anything probably gonna need more wood once I'm done doing this Okay, uh, let's see, 35 metal, 65 planks, so I do have the metal, actually let's grab the metal here, oh, I left that in the barn, let's, uh, I do have a bunch in here though, I think we could have both chicken coops, that way we're, you know, not, 35 metal. Okay, and we definitely got to make more more planks because I want to finish this coop. <laughs> that way I can get rid of that other piece right there and they can use both coops then. Okay, let's drive and get some more wood. kind of stinks that we can't build trees or plant trees I mean because once we use all of our trees then it's gonna be done which luckily we did get our trees back with this last update on this unst on this unstable branch Was another recommendation that somebody had given me. I'm trying to remember all of the stuff, all these 
recommendations and help that everybody's given me and I feel bad when I forget to use some of them okay I think that should be good enough for right now we gotta get this over to our chainsaw or not chainsaw our table saws Get about three to the one, so three logs per one log. This is definitely working better. I'll figure the shortcuts out. It takes a little bit of time. I might have to build a fence all the way around that chicken coop. I'm not real sure if it's going to let them out or not. I tried a game called Sledder, Sledders. Um, I'm not sure if it was a, it's a demo. It's about snowmobiling, which snowmobiling is right at my alley. I'm more of a trail rider, not the deep snow kind, but and I'm a vintage snowmobile rider uh, but this one it, it's got a lot of potential I've, I'm trying to use mouse and keyboard so I'm thinking maybe that's my problem I, it might be more set up for uh, controller users because every time I try to drive the snowmobile in the deep snow it ends up flipping upside down and I get buried so for me right now the demo is not very promising Oh wow, I didn't want to do that. But the thing is, is I watched a couple of videos of people that were playing it and they were doing really good. They were, you know, ripping through the snow and everything and it just, for me, without the controller, I'm thinking that's probably why I'm not doing very well. Oh, I thought I was going to have plenty. That definitely not plenty. Yeah, yesterday I spent the day on the on the creek. I've got a trout fishing video in the works right now it should release it'll be out before this video is done because it's already processed and everything it's already edited and, and it's working on being finished it just for some reason it didn't uh, usually I can upload right from uh, DaVinci Resolve right to my face my YouTube channel but because it's a long video and it's in 4K, I think it, it gave it a lot of troubles and it didn't didn't upload to YouTube. It saved to my file in my on my hard drive, but not to the to the page. So I had to go back and re-enter all of the data and all that stuff and download it from my file to YouTube. So it, it taken a little bit longer than what I was anticipating it was going to. but it sh will be out today this might not be out today the 13th <laughs> depends how long it takes to get everything edited together because there's a lot of stuff in this video I want to cut out it's going to be a long video don't like to make them too long because then you, know, you might not have time to watch the whole thing and unless you come back and watch the rest of it late at a later date for my analytics they need to make you know longer view duration is a lot better for my channel and if I have a three hour episode not many of you are going to be willing to sit around and wait 
watch for three hours <laughs> at a time. Which I've never had a three hour video, but just, uh, you know, just in case if it came up to be really long. Usually an hour is about the longest. a lot this playthrough. I think I might have to just get two of the really good saws. And then I can just really go back and forth, back and forth, and have them really kind of continuously producing. Save and get out of the rain. <laughs> Still raining. Yeah. All night long. So I can just get rid of this, that one there. That's nice, it gives you the planks back. Now, should I get rid of the other chicken house or just keep it? and let them go to both. We'll see if they try using this one up here. Finally, it's light out. Oh, oh, we can open. Huh. Oh, so it's a top and a bottom so I guess I could build more fence this way and kind of give them more space 
by opening that bottom door up. So they can go through the top or the bottom. Yeah, we'll go with just the top for just the top right now. Ah, tree. <laughs> if I'm going to have enough planks or not. Probably not. I need 12. Oh, and one metal. Yeah, I need two more planks. Oh, cool, you can open the top or bottom. I like that. Okay, we need two more planks. And the barn will be complete. Run these over and finish the finish the barn. Nice. Let's uh set these here for a second. I want to take a look at the stalls once. Barn stall. Put one in the. How about right? Can we put one right here? No. Okay, uh, right. Oh, I guess it's not. Can't just put it any one. So it's just the two across from each other. Oh, I put the metal on the trailer. Okay, well, the next episode we'll continue with putting a stall. We'll start fencing off some of this area so we can start getting some more animals. Uh, we've got we've got our chicken coop, the bigger chicken coop. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's. Yeah, so we got our fuel tank, we've got our lawnmower, which the lawnmower's not real spectacular, but uh, we got our barn, we've got a bigger chicken coop, we harvest some honey, uh, next episode we'll do a little more work around the farm, we've got to, I want to go get the oil, which we didn't get any of the oil done today, but we've been kind of hitting on the oil every episode, I kind of wanted to steer away from that for at least one episode, even though that is our big money maker. We didn't really need the money at this point. We used what we had. Okay, well thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your day and please let me know down in the comments what you think. Any recommendations you have, they're all welcome. Uh, just know I am reading them. If I don't get to your recommendation right away, I really will try. You can keep telling me about it. Uh, to be like, oh, What about my recommendation I told you about a couple of t episodes ago? Um, just keep reminding me. I appreciate them.
Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.